Hi, this is Mike from Motion Instruments, and I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple bike profiles, uh, which uh, all use the same tracers. So right now the app is set up to use Bike One. I'm going to go into the setup, and here you can see it's a the the name is Bike One. It's a GT Force. I've got a fork and a shock connected, and I've already set up a second bike. So I'm going to go and tap on the icon in the top left. That gives me uh, into my bike collection. And this is a list of all your bikes. And I've got a bike two set up here, it's an IBIS. And when I tap on that, now my bike setup says bike two, IBIS, all the settings are there. And you can see my fork and my shock tracers are still connected because these two bikes share the same tracers. So I'm, I'm ready to go ride. Um, and I can just switch back and forth. I'll switch back to bike one and there you go. And uh, now I can set up a bike three. Um, so I'll go into my bike collection. In the top right, there's a plus. Tap on that, give it a name. And now I've got a bike three. And you can see here it says model unknown, right? So if I tap on that, now it shows a blank screen because I haven't set up this bike yet. So I'll just set up, uh, and I'll call it a GT, and uh, connect my tracer. <clears throat> Just like you would, you know, set up any bike. This is this is no different. Um, just connect to your tracers. Um, do a calibration, one-time calibration here, and I'm done. Now I've got bike three set up, and I can start uh, recording live data off of uh, bike three. So that's basically how you do it. You can set up as many bikes as you want, um, and the app will remember which tracers they are and automatically connect to those tracers. That's it. Thanks for watching.